guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do a really simple, easy, fresh, out the door spring glam. I know a lot of times when I say simple and easy, I'm doing like a full face of heavy base and things such as that. Today, I'm not. I'm actually not even wearing a full base. I have no eyeliner on. This is really a five minute makeup look. So if you wanna learn how I achieved this everyday, simple spring glam, keep watching. Okay, so before I get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my videos, if you'll go down below and press subscribe, it means so much to get my subscriber count going. It's very encouraging. And if you like my videos, please give them a thumbs up. Tell your friends about them and all that jazz. All right, so to get started on this look, I'm gonna moisturize my face. I'm using just the Bobbi Brown um, Hydrating Moisturizer, and I'm gonna put this under my eyes. This is the Beauty Counter Anytime Eye Cream. And in the spring and summer, I am kind of like queen of the greasy faces. And so I'm gonna switch my primer up a little bit in the spring and summer, and I'm gonna use a mattifying primer. I really like this Make It Forever, so that's what I'm using today. All right, so. Like I said, I'm not doing a full heavy base on this look. I'm gonna keep it very light and fresh. I'm gonna mix NC15 and NC25 of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm gonna put it here on my little mirror, and this is gonna serve as my base. So I'm gonna do about a pump and a half, two pumps of each, and then I'm gonna mix it. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use this brush. I'm really liking these Sigma brushes, and especially this 3D precision, precision brush. Um, I'm really liking this and this is what I'm going to use for this look right now. I'm going to mix together my colors like so. I'm going to put it under my eyes. I'm going to put it there on my forehead, anywhere where light hits. I'm also going to put it down here on the bottom of my cheeks because I'm actually going to use kind of that redness and discoloration under my bronze colors. Right, looking great. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my, just this little Laura Mercier sponge, and I'm gonna tap this. You definitely wanna leave it kind of, you don't wanna rub it in too much because you need that coverage. Here I am gonna take what's left over on this and I'm gonna smooth it kind of over that area I didn't hit, just barely. And then I'm gonna take whatever's left over and I am gonna cover my whole eyelid. I'm gonna prime my eyes with this same concealer mixture. This is just another step to make it easy and simple and fresh. All right, so that's all that I'm gonna do in terms of base. I'm just putting that concealer where you saw me put that concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I'm gonna use the Mineralize Skin Finish by MAC because these have some coverage also. It's not like just a bronzer where you're just trying to get a bronze color. These also have some coverage. So in those places where I didn't put the concealer, this is gonna serve as my coverage instead of a base. So I'm gonna go in with a soft angled contour brush and this is the shade Medium Golden. And I'm just gonna do a real rough contour. Notice you don't have to be really precise with this. Woo! I'm gonna have you out the door in no time. You're gonna be eating your popsicles, having your picnics. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with medium. I'm just gonna use this small uh, MAC brush. I'll link it below what it is. And medium is gonna serve as your light color. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna hit under my eyes. Yeah, we're in my eyes. Yow. and then wherever I put that light concealer. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a blush. Now, this Bobbi Brown, it says it's bronzer, but it's not bronzer, it's blush. This is the color Santa Barbara, I'll link it below, but see how this is kind of almost a mix between a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush? I die for this for spring. It's got some like, a little bit of gold flecks in it, and you can go heavy on the blush in the springtime. I always put it a little bit just on my chin and a little bit on my forehead. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. 
and a, a bronzer brush. This is just a Bobbi Brown bronzer brush, just any kind of fluffy brush. And I'm gonna blend that all together. See how soft and fresh and pretty that is? You don't need that heavy contour and all those hard lines. Cause it is the springtime. Lovely, lovely. If you want to add a highlighter here, here's where you're going to add a highlighter. I love the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. And in the springtime, I really like Moonstone because it's a little bit lighter and fresher. Fresher? It's a fresher word. Maybe not. Maybe. And I'm just going to hit right here. And that's all I'm going to do for that base. Simple, easy, fresh, light, bright. This is a great look for like work or just like a day where you're going shopping and you don't want to wear a ton of makeup, but you don't want to look like red splotchy face in the springtime, you know? Okay, so now for eyes, I'm gonna start with my brows. I'm gonna also do a simple eye look to go with this as well. So I'm gonna go in with my typical Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and this is the shade Taupe. I'm gonna get all up in your grill right now so that you can see what I do for my brows. I'm gonna outline my brow first. Then fill it in with powder. Okay, so now that I've outlined them and kind of gotten them where I want them, I'm gonna go in with this MAC Omega Shadow and this little angled brush. And I'm okay, so remember I've already primed my eyes with that Pro Conceal. This is another step that's gonna make it really simple and easy for you to like run out the door. So um, now I'm gonna go straight in with the shadows. And I'm just gonna use some really simple, light, pretty shadows by Anastasia. And I'm gonna mix these two colors. This is Fresh and Bone. And I'm gonna mix these two colors on just a flathead brush and I'm gonna cover my whole lid. Now I'm gonna go with my MAC 224 brush, this one. And I'm gonna take this color Dusty Rose and I'm gonna mix it with Fresh. Fresh just kinda like mutes it and makes it a little bit more light. And cover my large crease. Now, I really like like a glittery, sparkly, kinda pinky purple lid for springtime to match the flowers and all. So I'm gonna go in with this pink champagne, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm actually just gonna use my finger, and I'm gonna cover the middle to inner section of that lid. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and instead of eyeliner, cause that makes this look like a little bit more harsh, and in the springtime I really like and it's minus a step. I really like to do just heavy mascara, but you don't wanna look like a pinky mouse. So, or like, you know, like how you don't have any type of lash line at all. So I'm gonna go in with this Dusty Rose that I used, and I'm just gonna barely hit my lash line with like a tiny little brush. That just kind of like marries the two together. I'm also just gonna hit my waterline, just my lower waterline real quick with this white MAC Fascinating Eye Cold just to kind of open it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and now, last but not least, I'm gonna go in with mascara. I really like this new um, Marc Jacobs mascara because it is like thick and heavy and you know I love that. So you wanna really cake on the mascara and I don't really need it on the top, but I'm gonna put it on the top. My lashes, I've got to get my lashes filled tomorrow. They're kind of sparse. Y'all are like, what? <laughs> Make sure you get to the base of the lash when you're doing this, especially on this look because you don't have a liner on there. So you wanna really Make sure you hit that base. All right, and that's it. Don't you like like the openness kind of of that eye? And how simple is that? Like so easy. Okay, so now for lips. 
I love this color, but it took me like six months to find the dang thing because it always sells out. It's a Laura Mercier Plumberry, and I resent it because it sells out all the time. So I'm going to link a comparable one below that's like a cheaper one too. All right. So I'm just going to lightly line my lips and color them in a little bit. So I've lightly colored them in, and then, oh, this is my favorite gloss for spring, but it's really pricey, so I'm going to link a less expensive one below, but this is Giorgio Armani, and it's shade 526, and I just love it, and I love wearing a lot of gloss in the springtime. I like my lips to be real luscious, and that so that is that. The drag queen inside of me is, like, screaming out for help right now because... Simple looks are kind of tough for me to do because I like to wear a full face of glam every day, but I really love this look. And in the springtime, light and bright and fresh is kind of like my thing. Should you just want to get outside and enjoy that beautiful weather? So I hope you guys like this. I really tried to achieve a look with less products. Look at all the things you can do with the Pro Conceal. Look at all the things that you can do with the shadows. So I hope you enjoyed it. So if you haven't subscribed, like I asked before, if you would subscribe to my channel. And here coming up, I'm going to try and do two videos a week. So let me know below if you guys would even watch two of my videos a week and what you guys may want to see. And also keep checking out my blog because I really love spring fashion and I'm doing a lot with spring fashion on that. So I hope you guys love this video. Thanks so much for watching and come back soon.